dragons all gonna paint in place. It is the final and the last day of Advent calendar time. Advent calendar. It's the advent calendar time. The final day, the 25th. That was a big one. That is what she said. Women's appreciation. Uh, any man who says he understands women is a fool because they are ununderstandable. There's a wishing fountain at the mall and I threw a coin in for every woman in the world and made a wish. I wish for Jan to get over me. I wish for Phyllis a plasma TV. I wish for Pam to gain courage. I wish for Angela a heart and for Kelly a brain. Michael, how can you appreciate women so much, but also dump one of them? I mean, how can I be so illogical and flighty and unpredictable and emotional? Well, maybe I learned something from women after all. Merry Christmas, you guys. So I have on no makeup and it is for a reason. I, from Revlon, have this, it's like a PR package or whatever, um, Wonder Woman 84 thing. Well, we came, we saw, we finished. Wonder Woman 1984. It wasn't like god awful and it had some really great parts. Tears. Like there were a lot of emotional aspects to this. I was just like, no. And I really didn't want to be right. So I wasn't entirely right of how certain acts were going down. This is very spoiler filled. So if you haven't seen it yet, maybe you shouldn't watch, I guess. I knew at the end of the day that Steve Trevor, he wasn't going to be around. And I feel like though I've read though that his character gets resurrected a lot anyway. So this kind of makes sense. He's just gonna keep dying but somehow coming back. But I did love that we finally get to see the invisible jet happen and we finally get to see Wonder Woman fly and her hone that ability because she's inspired by Steve Trevor. I love Gal Gadot. I think she's beautiful and I think she plays Wonder Woman well. It just makes me hate the fact that I don't look like her. It's just really annoying, but whatever. And I love Pedro Pascal in this, and I love Chris Pine in this. And I did, for most of it, like Kristen Wiig in this. But as the movie carried on, I liked Kristen Wiig less and cared less about Kristen Wiig. In the very beginning, I'm like, okay, the dorky, kind of like awkward girl, it made sense. And then when she gained a smidge, smidge of confidence, I'm like, okay. But then, then Kristen Wiig just turned into this like hooker looking chick. Like, I'm sorry. Granted, I prefer faux fur than real fur. Faux leather versus real leather. But they have this chick look like she's a straight up street walker with the ripped tights, the crying smudge Britney Spears 2007 black eyeliner, the big poofy coats, the cheetah skirts, the like, like really cheap looking boots. Homegirl did not look good and she got worse. And I really feel like at the end of the day, her character was super pointless. Is it just you brought her in just to have a fight at the end? Is like, that's kind of what I was gathering. Because Pedro Pascal, he's not a super power villain. Like he doesn't have Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman's powers. So it's like, they are very unevenly matched in that fact. And I found his character interesting because at times you kind of felt for him because it's kind of very Joker-esque and people keep putting you down, people keep bullying you, people keep telling you you're nothing, you're gonna amount to nothing, you're a loser. And you finally snap and you're like, I'll show you. And you try to like, you know, gain all this like power and do what you can to be like, go by yourself. And I get that. That's where it's like, you have sympathy for him, but then he's also you're like, dude, you're a piece of shit. But so it's like that I understood in like the obvious messes that they're driving home at the very end of the movie of like, be appreciative of what you have. And then the, there was a line with Pedro Pascal and his son in this, that the son was like, oh, I just wish you were here, daddy. Like he's like, no, don't wish for what you already have. Like, what do you, like, but that's the thing though. You should be grateful for what you have because I'm guilty of it. I feel like we're all guilty of it. And like, that's what this movie was driving home is that we're all suffering. We're all hurting. We all wish we had more. I wish what our lives maybe we were different or better. We always think that we had more money, more power in a different place with a different person. You never know. Like, we always think that the grass is greener. And while you should always want to maybe improve your life or, you know, push yourself, but you can't just think that everything's gonna be magically handed to you and things are gonna magically happen. What are you giving up for? Like, you lose a lot in the meantime. So like seeing all the people being so greedy and our world being so consumed by greed and I wish, I wish, I wish, I want, I want, I want, I, 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 
that the world is like becomes so collapses and like the whole civilization is gonna like wipe itself out as we were, we were about to see so it's just the whole yes appreciate what you have bit I got it I understood it I mean I love like I said Chris Pine and Gal Gadot together I think they just beautiful together comedic bits here and there that she was new to our world and like she tried to navigate through it and now like the first movie and then now in this movie it's that he's like newer to this current world because he wasn't around like, he's like what is all this art and the fashion and parachute everyone parachutes now like all this stuff so it's just it had moments but it's like I wouldn't like sit down to like actively watch it again. It was it was nice to see like comic book things come to life. Like again, I haven't read every comic. I don't know every comic, but it's like I do know with Wonder Woman she had the visible jet to so to see that like I said and to see her fly for real like all that. But it also just like I'm like girl, it feels like you got the shit end of the stick. That here it's like yes, you're hoping the greater good. So yes, Peyton, this can't be about I I I. She wants love. She wants Steve. She wants him. But then all these other people are gonna suffer just because that's what she wants. She gets what she wants kind of thing. I get it, but like still like. That's the thing. If you're a good person, you still get the shit end of the stick, it feels like. Story of my life. But yes, things can be worse. I am very appreciative of what I have. Like I said, it hit me a lot and the feels, my black soul and my black heart was like, what is this? I can't take this. It's just so gut-wrenching. But still, I mean, it had its moments, but it just, it should not have been two and a half hours long. My God. Even with the fact that like when I'm filming, like I had to like keep changing out my memory card because it's like, it would, fill up and whatnot and I have to edit through all this this is gonna be a bitch and I was getting these little mini breaks but it still dragged on forever you did you could have like this movie could have been pared down to maybe an hour 45 it did not or even like less it did not need to be two and a half hours overall I think it's a movie yeah go see once at least I think comparing the two I prefer Wonder Woman the first one over this one because that's the thing it's so hard with sequels like I said it had a lot of moments but I don't feel like the moments held me enough to like want to buy this or like see this again kind of thing but I'm very appreciative to HBO Max for doing this for releasing this on streaming A Quiet Place 2 needs to take that note or just every other movie that's supposed to be released this year like Promise Young Woman I really want to watch that it's supposed to come out today too in theaters but like all my theaters are closed I'm sorry if I spoiled a lot if like maybe I didn't entirely did I don't know I feel like I didn't give too much away I feel like the trailers gave away a lot so I feel like I'm not completely spoiling too many things the very beginning the whole giant flashback scene when she was a kid like just also dragged on yes were the good hidden messages here and there like yes like good things don't come from lies people who cheat aren't really winners like yes that I agree with a hundred percent whether it's in love and like relationships or it's like you know on here cheaters are never gonna be winners at the end of the day if you guys saw wonder woman 84 what were your thoughts comment them below and as always make sure you like share and subscribe i put out a video now will be every week since advent calendar time is over yeah comment your thoughts below let's discuss and guys always remember to be kind and respectful to one another especially going into a new year we've had a shit year so let's not be shitty to one another if you disagree with someone or you think someone like was wrong just be like hey i respect your opinion these are my thoughts like but we're allowed to disagree. Doesn't mean you go for the jugular and be like, you're a dumb this, you're a stupid this, you're a moron, you're a da 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 da. Keep that in mind going into the new year. So I will see you guys, not tomorrow. Oh my God, that's weird now to say. I will see you guys next week and have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. I hope you guys are enjoying it, staying safe. And yeah, see you guys next week.